OOMPH, a microformat toolkit, is a set of prototypes we've built to help foster the adoption of microformats. Before getting into OOMPH specifically, I wanted to talk a little bit about what microformats are. Simply, microformats are open data format standards that encourage the exchange of data on the web. Perhaps most interestingly, microformats are gaining popularity. Some of the largest websites like Facebook, LinkedIn, and Yahoo have adopted them, as well as thousands of other smaller websites. If you want to learn more about microformats, microformats.org is the place to go. It has all the specifications, discussions, code, tools, and more. Now, perhaps the most popular microformat out there is called the H card. And very simply, it's about representing contact information. The name of a person or the name of a business, and then phone numbers, addresses, other ways to get the contact information for that person or business. Already on the web today, there's over a billion pages that have H cards formatted into them. Another popular microformat is the H calendar format. This is about events, meetings, concerts, any event. Again, we've seen a lot of traction there with over 100 million H calendars formatted on the web today. And it's these two microformats that we focus on with Oomph. Here's a snippet of what an H card looks like. It's not rocket science. This is just part of a piece of HTML. And the key thing that makes this microformatted content are the class attributes. There's a class attribute on the div tag that specifies this is a V card, which means the same as an H card. And everything under that div is known to be a microformat spec. Same with the class tag on the span specifies that that's the name, um, the FN tag, of, of the person in this V card. So without further ado, let's take a look at we, what we've done to help foster the adoption of microformats. We've really tried to target three different audiences with Oomph, a user audience, developers, and designers. And we've done it across three different vectors. First, making it easier to consume microformats through an Internet Explorer add-in and an HTML overlay that works across any browser. To make it easier to create microformats with a Windows Live Writer plugin and to make it easier to style microformats with a set of CSS styles. Let's take a look at each now. So we'll start out with how we make it easier to consume microformats. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Internet Explorer now, where I have our microformats add-in installed already on this browser. And I've gone to a page that happens to have microformats in the page. And so what's happened is this gleam has shown up in the upper left corner of the page. And if I come over and click this gleam, I get this overlay that flies out that aggregates all of the H calendars and all of the H cards on this page. So you can see that I have various events that I can page through here and various contacts that I can page through. You'll also notice these icons here down in the bottom corner. Now, if I click one of these icons, it will grab the information and export it to that particular service. In this case, my Yahoo Calendar. So what we've done is made the data that's sort of stuck in this HTML page very easily exportable out of the web page, either to some cloud service or directly to Outlook, or if you're on a piece or you're on a Mac to your to your um, Apple um, address book or calendar. Another thing we've done is to map any addresses we have with Virtual Earth. So we can see this on this page where I've gone to upcoming.yahoo.com and found an event. And it's able to pull a little more information in this case, in particular, an address. And once I have the address, I'm able to geocode that on the fly and see live a virtual Earth map for, um, for that address. So that's really what, what our Internet Explorer add-in does. But what we wanted to do is provide that same experience for any browser. So let's take a look at what that looks like. In this case, I'm here in Firefox on a page on my website. And I've got my contact information, some events, all formatted with microformats. And in Firefox, I get the same experience, the exact same paging experience, the same mapping experience, etc. So you might be wondering, well, how am I doing that 
if I don't have this add-in installed? Well, we've made the script available. So anybody who wants to can take our JavaScript, and a web developer can add, well, two lines of JavaScript to their web page. And if they have micro-formatted content on that page, they'll get our oomph experience. The two lines are the jQuery library. We built this whole thing using the jQuery library. And then the oomph.js, which is the actual code that, that, that provides that HTML overlay experience. Let's move on to how we help people create microformats. In this case, we're using Windows Live Writer, which is a great piece of software that targets almost every blogging platform, from WordPress to movable type to Blogger to Windows Live Spaces and more. So as blogs are becoming the de facto content management system on the internet these days, we thought it'd be great to provide it, make it easy for people to add microformats to their blog posts. So in this case, if I say insert contact, I get a simple form that I can fill out. And when I add this to my, my uh, page, if I look at the HTML code, it's already formatted with all the right tags for microformats. There's another plugin for Windows Live Writer that we didn't write, but you can download from their web page that does the exact same thing for events or H calendars. Finally, we've done something to help microformats look beautiful. In this case, we've created a set of CSS styles so that if you have content formatted as microformats, you can easily apply a set of styles. Here you can see them. We've got a set of different ones. Again, that once you commit to microformats, we make it easy for you to make them look great. The last thing we've done is to make this extensible so that as other microformat specifications gain traction and popularity, that they can add those to oomph. So I have an example of this here where I've added the H audio format to, um, to oomph. Um, so what it does is grabs any MP3s on the page and allows you to toggle through those. You can imagine as other microformats become popular that they can be added to oomph. So hopefully you're intrigued and you want to get oomph. You can download oomph up at codeplex.com, whack oomph, and you can either grab the binaries so that you can install the Internet Explorer add-in and the Windows Live Writer plugin, or you can download all of the source code for everything we've done so that you can see how we build it. And if you would like, you can join the project itself and contribute to it moving forward. Well, that's it. Hopefully you found this interesting, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.